And the next focus now is engagement. Um, tailoring uh, engagement for the people uh, for the people that are involved in the project includes the following, right? People, right? That entails evaluating the skills and capabilities uh, of the project leadership and the project team. Then selecting who should be involved and in what capacities based on the project type and operating conditions. For example, on a challenging or time constrained uh, project, assigning very experienced project team members is more logical than using inexperienced project team members, right? You know, naturally, each project has more experienced people and less experienced people. And, you know, maybe, maybe you want to assign more experienced people to more challenging tasks, right? Where less experienced people might experience difficulties, right? You know, let's say you need to design a very complex structure. And, um, you know, you probably want an experienced architect to be involved, right? Rather than someone out of school. No offense, right? But someone who designed a similar structure in the past, right? Probably is better suited for the job than, you know, someone who's never done it before, right? So there's just one example. Um, another approach is empowerment. Empowerment involves choosing which responsibilities and forms of local decision-making should be deferred to uh, the project team. Uh, some environments and team member capabilities support high level of empowerment. In other situations, less empowerment with more supervision and direction might be preferable, right? Um, so what we're talking about here, we're talking about here the level of management or supervision involvement, right? So we could tailor the level of supervision that, you know, people will experience. You know, as I mentioned before, let's say if you're talking about an experienced designer, an experienced architect, right, probably they need a lesser level of supervision. Because such supervision, right, you know, very detailed supervision doesn't really add a lot of value. They already know what to do, right? And on the contrary, by giving them too much guidance, you know, you waste time, right? Because they already know and, you know, they could probably teach the teacher, right? So, so that's another way to tailor the project by tuning up the level of empowerment uh, of the individual contributors. Right. Um, let's move on. Uh, integration. Um, project teams can include contributors from contracted entities, channel partners, and uh, other external entities, in addition to staff from inside uh, the sponsoring organization. Right. Tailoring considers, tailoring considers how to create one project team from a diverse collection of contributors to facilitate optimal project team performance and realization of project outcomes, right? Project is a one-time, a temporary endeavor, right? And it's always, always unique in nature. So project might require, let's say, you know, a specific skill set right and that skill set might come from different groups right it might be local resources local team members it might be contractors right that you bring from overseas um it might be you know your parallel office where they have the li the right brains for the task right so that's what integration is all about you might have to tailor let's say your project team based on the unique requirements of your project, right, by integrating, right, the right people that need to be involved. 